Hello. Hi there, everyone. Hi, everyone. <laughs> everyone out in cyber world. Yeah. Yes, this is Selena Drake. Hi, I'm so excited to be here at Monica's Art Boutique. I know. This is fantastic because I've been around town. Yeah. But this is the first time I've been to Up Park Royal. Yeah. It was just like divine synchronicity. Yes. We have artwork here. I so know. Artwork. We're going to show everybody. Maybe, yeah. maybe we can tell them um, a little bit about just a brief thing about each piece. Okay, and then absolutely. what we can do is tell them a little bit how you got started sure. and then we'll go into that. So let's start with the paintings themselves. Yeah. So my paintings have developed a lot over the uh, three years that I started. I'm a self-taught artist. Yeah. And so I've got things like resin paintings and developed it to brush. My, my paintings are mostly acrylic. They're very saturated. I love the colors. I love the flow of the colors. Mm -hmm. How I started is I was doing art therapy, so that sort of attracted me to this type of painting. Mm -hmm. A lot of my paintings are fairly spiritual. Mm -hmm. And so this is the tree of life. Uh, what I do is I do pore painting. Uh, on some of these and then it speaks to me to tell me what I should embellish it with. Yeah. So this is the tree of life. It's got some gold leafing in it and then it's covered with resin. Yeah. So got that it's real so shiny. Look, but also yeah. that mystical magical quality to it as yeah. well that you get uh, a lot of depth with that for Beautiful. Um, I follow an artist named Peter Granston, and I love, this is sort of inspired by some of his works here. Uh -huh. um, I've been learning over the course of the past year, reflections and shadowing, so that was my attempt at it. I just love, I just love the colors. I love the green, it's very healing, so uh -huh. I call it my emerald floss floral. Nice. And then we and have? Then, um, this is my latest piece, the large piece called The Summit. I uh, I do a bit of hiking with my husband. We kayak. We're kind of outdoorsy, but I'm very drawn to mountains uh, and nature, of course, and, mm -hmm. and um, forest bathing. So uh, this is just a mountain I saw, and I love I love the dramatic landscape. It's kind of a an inside passage of yeah. the ocean. So. Uh, yeah, I've been doing larger paintings uh, since the beginning of this year. Right. So really attempting the large canvas, and I love that. I totally enjoy it. It's very, it's very therapeutic to paint on a large canvas. Mm -hmm. um, and this is a cityscape I did a, a very long time ago with, with a palette knife. Nice. So that one was done strictly with a palette knife just to get the reflections. And um, yeah, I love the blues. I'm very a blue person. So for all mm -hmm. those artists out there, phthalo blue, Prussian blue, mm -hmm. ultramarine, those are my colors. I'm a tongue titanium white and voila. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Another right. blue piece. Another blue piece. I've uh, been into uh, resin uh, tables. So uh, unlike some of the artists out there, when they do resin, they color the resin and then pour it onto their product. This one's actually, I'll just take away these cards. These are actually, uh, actually a pour painting or a pour painting uh, process. And then afterwards, I cure it for about a week and apply the resin to it. Mm. So it's got a very watery um, Yeah, it's look cool looking. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, nice. There we go. I'm going to put this cool. art cards back. Yeah. And then we have... Okay, and so I'm going to go with the, the paintings and I'm going to explain something else there. Um, Lady in, in Blues. Mm -hmm. It's a pore painting and actually been a pore painting, an abstract for about a year. And then recently uh, it was called to put a goddess on it. So I, I love the back of the woman and just hanging there. But what's really interesting about this painting was it had some metallic gold in it. And I didn't even think, I painted the lady on it and it just happened that on her shoulder, the metallic gold showed up. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's brilliant and it looks like she, it looks like another realm if you look at the poor painting itself, it just yeah. draws you upward to so cool. another realm. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, and then um, we've got uh, some more uh, tables. This one looks like a hydrangea. And it was, I spent a lot of time actually with this one because I layered the paint and took a straw and blew on top of it. So each mm -hmm. petal was, was actually blown out. <laughs> yeah, it's so yeah. cool. Yeah, so neat. Yeah, that would make a beautiful end table in somebody's bedroom actually. Mm -hmm. It's very pretty. Uh, these are, I'm really into feathers. Feathers have a spiritual significance to it, and I get a lot of requests and commissions for feathers. Uh, basically, these are made from four paintings, and I take string and dip it and pull the feathers through it, and so then you get this beautiful blend of colors. Um, I also do Reiki on my uh, paintings, and for those people who don't know what Reiki is, it's sort of a blessing, an energy blessing. Um, 
and I work, I set a sacred space whenever I'm doing my paintings and really get connected and that's how I process when I do my paintings. And so some of these paintings really call to people because they're drawn to the energy of the painting. That's right, yeah. yeah. And then back up to some brush paintings that I've done recently this year. So these are a couple that I did this year. And if you take a closer look, or maybe from afar, you might notice some faces in this particular painting. There is um, what appears to be like, a, for me, a, a female head with a, with mm -hmm. a some sort of uh, hat or headdress. And to me, this feels very much like a male, almost like an Ananas mm -hmm. with a flat, you know, with the Egyptian. Yeah. Hat. Yeah. So it's very mystical. I, I build a lot of things from my clouds, and they kind of just happen. And so a lot of people that see my skies and my clouds, and uh, they really get a feel for um, it being drawn up, like almost to the heavens in a mm -hmm. way. So. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. And then we have another one. And we have another uh, large one that I did actually on New Year's Day. So this was the beginning of 2022. I kicked it off with this very large painting. Nice. Yeah. What size is that? This one is a 32 by 48. Mm -hmm. So four feet high. Less Three than feet, feet yeah. high. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. And, and then this one? And this one, I actually just uh, modified it and, and built uh, some more into the sky. It's called Lightning Strikes Over La Lavender Fields. And it was based off a photograph from a photographer, um, Tim's Photography. And you'll find him on Instagram. He teaches photography. But it was one of his photos that I inspired me to do the painting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Beautiful. it's Lavender Fields. Nice. Yeah. And then we have your and then cards. So, yeah. And so over the, I, prior to four years ago, I didn't realize I was going to be an artist. I mm -hmm. actually did stick people and had no idea. But I took up painting um, as therapy after my mother passed away. And very quickly, um, I, through divine synchronicity, I found out that I had this gift for painting. Mm -hmm. And so um, within a year, actually, um, I started selling paintings and doing paintings. Within two years, I did about 200 paintings. I've been in galleries and wineries and festivals um, and retail stores. And so people were asking me to teach them how to do port painting, and I was very kind of felt like I wasn't really qualified to do that because mm -hmm. I'm just a self-taught artist. But uh, so many people asked, I actually put together a port painting workshop together. Mm -hmm. It really is an experience. I teach people what I do, which is set sacred space. We do a short meditation at the beginning. I bring all the supplies in the next, so they all all the. Uh, person needs participant needs to do is pick the colors yeah and they really go into this creative space so I've had artists I've had children and it's just an amazing experience so, so cool as I went along with this whole art thing because mm -hmm. I actually do have a day job as well mm -hmm. um, it really opened up to, to be an artist and people were asking me how did you do it and really um, there, there's no explanation other than this is my journey mm -hmm. and so I wrote a book about it called mm -hmm. Journey of an Accidental Artist yes so in um, early 2021, um, I took a writing course. Actually, the intention was to write a children's book. Mm -hmm. And what happened was at the end of the six-week course, I ended up writing this book, which is mm -hmm. kind of like a biography. Yeah. But it's more about a spiritual journey more than anything else. Mm -hmm. um, it explains how I connect to the afterlife. Mm -hmm. And so for those people out there kind of curious about that sort of thing, this is kind of yeah. an interesting book. To I totally, about. yeah, I read it. It was really, really good. Yeah. yeah. So it's, uh, we can connect to the other side, mm -hmm. um, which gives me comfort that I can speak to my mother and she speaks to me through my paintings. Mm -hmm. So that's how this all came about. And as a result, oh, and because I put pictures in there as well of all my paintings, as mm -hmm. you can see, uh, the paperback is in black and white because that's it's just easier and less expensive to do it that way but the ebook that i have on amazon and on actually everywhere online from yeah. Volvo to um at my own online store the ebook's in color okay so if anybody's nice. interested in color and they want to go on my website selenadrakeart.com yeah I perfect actually post the photographs that go along with my journey as well so and as a result people were asking for the artwork so i ended up taking some images from my book and producing some art cards. Nice. So I have art cards, and this one is a Namaste. Yeah. Uh, and I have uh, one called Soul Expressions, 
and this is one of the court paintings that yeah. I teach my students to do. Nice. And so it, you, you can read all sorts of some amazing things that happen in court paintings. Yeah. As an expression of yourself. So, yeah, I'm that's really you. Yeah, to we're you happy to have you here, and yeah, we've sold yeah. some pieces already, and totally. people have come and gotten books and cards and all kinds of things. Yeah. And, and I'm excited to participate in yeah. March Madness as well. I know, March Madness. We're going to do some March Madness deals this year. Awesome. Um, if you were to tell an artist one thing, somebody just beginning, what would you tell them? What follow, advice? Follow your heart. Yeah. Don't paint what you think people want to see. Yeah. Uh, try not to judge yourself and all that stuff. <laughs> that's a difficult thing to do don't yeah. you know, judge yourself but really go with the flow totally see where it takes you mm -hmm. the more you open with your heart the more creative you become mm -hmm. and for me it just brings joy and love and that's what we want to share with the world exactly so oh thanks selena thank okay bye, bye.